We got one of the coolest brothers in Hollywood. This is everybody's uncle. Matter of fact, do you mind if I call you Uncle Garrett? Oh, my God. I get it all the time from Andre and Kay. Yeah, Uncle G. That's what I'm calling, Uncle G. Okay. And, and, and pardon me, Andre, pardon me, Kay. And this is his niece and his nephew yes. in the background. But but for, for the minute, I'm going to be family. Uh -huh. Uncle G. Welcome to the show. Uh, thank you, Andre. Thank you. And like I said, I'm glad to see your parole officer hook you up and you're not you're out walking around. No, I'm out walking around. I'm free. I'm free. They let me out just to do this interview. So we're going to have a lot of fun today. <laughs> I got the ankle bracelet on. As soon as we're done, they're shackling me up and taking me back. Oh, I don't know, you're looking good, man. You're looking good. What's that you got on your chest? Oh, no. power move. If, if, if I can look as good as you, I'm good. No, I'm, I'm trying to be like you when I grew up, man. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. I mean, okay, can, can we start off? Let's start off in a positive way. Yes. Huh? Let's start off in a yes, positive way. Yes, yes, yes. Stag, 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 stag after. Over. Thank you. Over. Benito, three years. For three years, at least. You get to go back to work and make them millions again. Make, well, you know, a few pennies, a few nickels, a few dollars, you know, whatever, to help me pay the rent. Uncle G, <laughs> you get to go back to work. I mean, like, let, let's call it what it is, brother. You've been doing this for so damn long. Like, when, 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 when this SAG after strike happened, does a person like you say, thank God, I finally got a chance to rest? Or are you like, what are they doing? All I know is work. Well, you know, I don't know how to say this. I'm kind of lucky that the strike didn't affect me the way it affects everybody else. Um, but that doesn't mean that I didn't have serious concerns. Because only about 20% of us, I don't know if you know this, Sean, only about 20% of actors are working steadily at any given time. About 80% are working sometimes and doing other jobs. And frankly, me and other actors who are not really affected like that were worried about the 80 of the 80%. Okay. So it's not about us being alone out here. We like that. We joined, you know, so we're back there. I was an extra, you know, uh, working here and then and sometimes, you know, so for me, um, the thing I was hoping is that the, not only with the producers, think sensitively, but the members of the union, the leaders of the union would think sensibly, not be hardcore and stretch out the strike. Because even if you're coming from an agency viewpoint or from a producer viewpoint, you're affecting about 80% of actors who are working sometimes, but sometimes they're working those temporary jobs. They're trying to pay the rent, trying to pay for gas, trying to pay for lights, something with kids. So I'm glad that now it's over. And that 80%, at least for three years, doesn't have anything to worry about. Yeah, some of the things that they were fighting over, you know, once upon a time, it was yeah. unheard of. You know, they, they, they're trying to protect their rights against uh, AI, artificial intelligence, so that that, that won't be t kicking up. Could, could you even believe some of these well, issues? I, this is the world that well, we I'm going to tell you, I think it is... I can't even use the word outrageous, unbelievable, that some human being would say, I have a right to use you and your work for nothing or little of nothing. How dare you mm. challenge that? But on the other side, we have to blame the unions because this has been going on since the 1990s. But it was a little bit at first. And it kept increasing and increasing. And now it's so obvious. For instance, what they want to do now, the producers want to take extras for like a half a day, hook them up on count on video for half a day, then send them home. And no matter how long the shoot went, if it went for weeks, months, whatever, they could reproduce through AI what they got on giving the actors a half a day, half a day's work. So that's really why now the the, uh, the the union has said, oh, we've been letting this happen 
and look what it's grown to. This shit in the 1990s started off say, no, if you use somebody's image, pay them. If you use somebody's writing, pay them, right? Because look, you got somebody coming from, uh, you know, business school who's a producer. He said, well, it's not the actors who are number one, it's his shareholders. That's who, who's number one. Right. And the actors are not even secondary or tertiary. They may be fourth or fifth down the line. Which means you are using these people like they were slaves. Like they don't even matter to it's their product you're making money from. Why not everybody make some, let's make some money, even extras? You know, you brought up a statistic that I, I had no idea. I'm not in your business and you are absolutely one of the blessed ones, one of the fortunate ones. You said only 20% of actors are straight, working, straight at uh, consistently. Yeah. At, yeah, yeah, consistently. You know, you've been doing this thing for over 60 plus years. Since 19, uh, 1959. 1959. I started out not as a... What is huh? it that makes... I started out not as an actor, right? although I intended to be an, an actor, writer, singer. I started singing in a singing group as a singer arranger with a guy named Harry Belafonte. While I was, uh, that was about a six month of work. If you, on the other six months, I would go and do some off Broadway stuff. So I've been here since doing this since 1959. I guess my question to you is is there, I mean, there's an actor that might stumble across this in this interview. What is it that you can give them in terms of a gem, a tip, um, some insight to your success? Like it is no small thing in any industry, whether it is uh, Hollywood, whether it's the music industry, uh, the, the computers and technology. To consistently work for the amount of time that you have, it's incredible. And and, and it is definitely a, a, a blessing from above. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.